Yo, 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 what's happening everyone? Game with Maxi. Today I'm going to be going over all the best Roblox extensions in the world. So what you want to do is you want to go, you got to make sure you have Google Chrome. And then after you do that, all you want to do is search up Chrome extensions. After you do that, you can go over here and you can look these up. So the first one we have is Roblox Pro Plus. Um, these will not hack your accounts. Trust me. I have a lot of Robux on the line and I'm adding them to my account, so don't worry about it. Okay, so if we look at the traditional layout of my homepage, it looks like this. If you go to my profile, it looks pretty basic like this. So this is normally what it looks like for your profile page. And if you go to your games, uh, normally it would just look like a normal game page. And if you look on your Robux, it just looks normal and the avatar shop, everything looks normal. But the first one you want to do is get Roblox Plus, add this, click Add Extensions. After it checks, it'll be in your account. The next one you want to do is BTR Roblox. All these will be in the description in case you want to get to them. And unfortunately, this one was my favorite one. It was Roblox Statistics. It would tell you how much games make. It was so cool. But unfortunately, Roblox took off the feature where game where people could identify how much sales games made. So like you could see Adopt Me making $20 million. It was crazy. So after I downloaded both those extensions, I can reload the page. And everything changed on my home page. So now I have a control panel down here. And I have blog. I have a blog that I can see the latest stories. And if I click on a game right here, look at the layout. It looks so much different. Much cooler, I personally think. So we're going to go over all the cool features real quick. So... If you have a game like, let's say, Tower Battles, okay, you can scroll down here and you can pick a certain server. Actually, let's go to a better game for this example. Also, the friends, messages, all that is up here on the top right instead of on the left side. So if we go to Bloxburg right here, we can go down to servers and we can find any type of server. So we can go 768. And we can join the server with a small amount of people. So you don't have to join a VIP server. You can just join it like that. The next thing that it added is if you go up to your Robux up here, um, it should actually, we need to go to our control panel first. We need to go to navigation and we need to push on dev rates, DevX rates on Roblox. So if we click up here, now it'll show us how much money that'll translate into US dollars. Pretty cool. Uh, another thing you can edit is the side navigation bar always open. So if we reload here, the side navigation bar will always be on. And another thing we can do is a live navigation counter. I'm not exactly sure what that does. But um, this thing that you can do is if you go to the avatar shop, avatar items are so much nicer now. So if you click on it, it shows so much more detail about it which is sweet. It shows you previous owners, linked items, and we also have more options right here. Super cool, there's stats right here. Super cool stuff, you can download it. Amazing stuff. And if we go to our profile here, let's see what our profile looks like. Our profile looks so much cooler. But yeah, those are the two extensions I would recommend. Unfortunately, if I click this one, Roblox Statistics, I add it, it's not gonna work. So I can't see how much games make, but I used to be able to, but unfortunately they don't allow that anymore, which was so cool to see how much they were making. So if we go to the store here, yeah, unfortunately it shows zero sales. Obviously it's sold a lot more times than that, but yeah, it's going to wrap up for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.